Welcome to Reconstructing the World. My name is Anders Morgenthaler. I'm host of the program. This is the Weird Monkey Kindergarten. Or as you call it, the swan. The swan. It's actually, yeah, here, we're actually on the back side of the building here. But this is the, if you remember the white building, yeah. the uh, 1937 uh, more historical building that was basically here to here. And um, now we have the kindergarten and um, the concept here was to have each one building representing one material. So here what you're seeing is basically uh, the one building here out of uh, uh, trapez, yeah. steel, steel sheets, yeah. uh, which you is love, from I'm, the 70s building. And we know you love a good trapez. I love a good trapez. It's a cheap material but here the interesting part was actually that uh, the the material was contaminated and um, the question was is it possible to clean it down find out a place to use it where it's not polluting or in danger for the kids yeah and um, and the answer is and no. the answer is, is super dangerous now, the answer is so you cut up this whole thing is not that it was only it was, it was only some places there we had problems with these sheets and the rest of them we could actually use and m mount them on the facade like here so we have on the roof we have on the facade um, and then we have the roof tiles can we get closer yes can we just jump the fence you do it first jump the fence look at this old man jumping fence a meme to come. Oh! <laughs> and now I'm a tall me. guy. And now me. Oh, no, 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 no. A little more uh, flexible. So, so. Yes, let's go. So, I love this. Yeah. This is really beautiful, Anas. This is the wing tiles. They they come out fantastic. Why I think of this as being just a roof, and now it's a beautiful facade. It's super easy to do. You take one piece out, you drill a hole in it, yeah. and basically just have a wood horizontal wood stud on the back, and you screw it in again, and then you have a facade. I mean, it's quite simple. It is so fucking beautiful. Did you invent this form? Did you invent this? I don't know. I think we most just, sustainable architect in the I, world. I don't know. Invented Probably this. other people have done. I didn't invent it in the sense. Let me say, like the mansard roof, which is an, an a sloping roof that's in Copenhagen everywhere. Yeah. So we think of it as just a jet roof. Yeah. But we have the horizontal roof shape. It's called a mansard roof. Yeah. Where we've used wind ah, tiles yeah. always. Yeah, yeah. The but ones we that just go... haven't seen it in a total vertical no, no. Uh, facade. And for the recycling. I think we've done many different inventions of how to mount it and keep it in place. Yeah. That's, so that's what you could have so seen in here was also, we'll look at the detailing. So the difficult part here is always when you, when you use these, yeah. they are in a geometry that suits the roof yeah. in the structure usually. When you use it vertically and you need to go around with the kind of the window holes and yeah. the kind of um, fitting it in. Yeah then that's where it's more difficult. So you basically have to do the drawings so they line up with the amount of roof tiles. Yeah. So you don't cut them a place where there's almost nothing. So what you're saying is... So you have to design with, again, form follows availability. You have to design with what is present. And these are actually, they don't look as much, but they were actually the columns in, uh, in the building in the old, uh, the old 70s building, there was these concrete columns, and we tried all we could to find a way to reuse them as columns in the building. We didn't succeed with that, so we put them out as benches around here, but it, it's really a thing that we're working on now, where we direct reuse the, the columns and beams as a, a structural element in the building, where we save close to 95% CO2 compared to casting new. So it's a really important thing. But here, they're just benches, and we didn't want to crush them or drive them away from the side. So you made these uh, benches for pedagogues to smoke, or uh, no? No, it's for the kids to it's smoke. <laughs> when did you get your first cigarette? 
I love it. Okay, so Anas, the roof there, is that, uh, is it uh, wood or is it stone material? It's stone. Where did that come from? Yeah. That one, you, oh, you always put your finger down where it's not upside. Where it's hurting. Yeah, where it's hurting. We, we wanted to, uh, to actually use, uh, kind of play with that, but it was too difficult to use kind of normal bricks, historical bricks, oh. and create a roof out of it. It is possible, it's really difficult. Okay. Uh, so here, it was as close as we could get. It's a, it's a, it's a new material, um, unfortunately, but it um, looks great. It looks pretty good. Is this, and this is old, um stones right from yeah. the building so every brick here is half a kilo of co2 yeah and the mortar is uh it's one third so it's like 200 grams of co2 something yeah. like that yeah. so when you take all these things together then you of course have a lot of uh, co2 reduction when you have a quite big building like this both facades and interiors okay that's fantastic yeah Let's go out, uh, this way. We'll go this way. Is Somebody this around. reused? Yes, it should be over here as well. It's really some nice. Of, some of it has been also needed a, a repaint, so it got some paint some exactly, places. Exactly, but it, 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 it looks really a, like a new material. It's steel that's been painted. But I can really see the vision that you told us in the last episode about how to, you watch out, my friend. Thank you. Uh, separating the different uh, fractions of yeah. the material and yeah. then showing it as a building, right? Yeah. And, and also an important thing also for the architecture here was that since we made kind of a very classical shed roof building, so yeah. each building is quite simple in itself, they have each their own roof pitch, which of course makes it uh, kind of interesting in many ways, just to look at it, that it's kind of a section of a of a um, a small village of different houses yeah, yeah, yeah. that are put together. So it's this mini uh, mini village for, for for children, but at the same time, each house also has their own materiality. And when we put them together and push them like we do, we create all these different types of outdoor terraces and yeah. squares where they can, you know. Hide and play yeah, so, and so on. So, so the buildings are the buildings are the no sorry, the the materials are kind of forcing you to 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 uh, do variations and then you yeah. take that variation yeah and it becomes something that you play with that actually enhances the building right yeah hi 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 hi, hi. 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 hello hi, hi Amanas <laughs> you are the tender lady right. Okay, yeah. so Helen, we have been we we talked about in a program, but then uh, how you guys um, decided to do the tender of this project, uh, bef you know, making it sustainable before it, you know, you guys asked on us to make it a sustainable building. We had an idea of that we could make this better. This is television. Just, I need to walk. Yeah, that um, we could make it kind of a better project with using some of the old school instead of just tearing it down. Yeah. Uh, and therefore we was looking into different ways of using all these materials and we was also looking into if we could transform the buildings before we decided to tear it down. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Look, look at this. Look at this. This is a great view. I think he because has he, seen because it before. Because, <laughs> because here the rhythm of the buildings mm. and the materials and we were just before Helen came through, flying through the door. We're just talking about like the interesting part here is where the different materials meet each other here. Yeah. Like that's also always the difficult part. How do you have bricks meeting kind of the steel meeting the wing tile and the wood, the wood and so yeah. on. This picture here, it's really good. It's every architect's wet dream, right? That's yeah. what they love. And we that's what, how they get, they, you know, when they dream about being architect, this is what they want to achieve in their life. It's like, look at this. I had this vision, and you can see it in one building picture. That's good. Am I right? Yes. yes. But I, but I also love how you, uh, you guys, didn't make it 
the playground into like one big, uh, uh, you know, classic um, lawn. Yeah, it's not a classic lawn thing. I love that you integrated uh, wild nature, biodiversity, all this. And when I came here, right? Yeah. I haven't seen it before. No? I was like, Jesus Christ, I would have loved being a kid here. This is kid life, right? This way of creating a tender, yeah. is that something that you then has, uh, you, you, you've tried it with this project? And are you then repeating that within the municipality going forward? Um, we're trying to repeat some of it. The next project I have now is we're taking out uh, different resources from two old villas, and they're going to be built into the new kindergarten out in Bausfer. So yeah, we are trying to do it again. But not with this guy. No, we tried, yeah, but we were tried. we were disqualified. Not disqualified, no. but we didn't what? get it. Why? That's EU. a long story. <laughs> EU. <laughs> yeah. Was that is like EU or is it like <laughs> no. European Union? E e European Union. <laughs> ah, okay. It's like <laughs> EU. Yeah. It's yeah. Exactly how you reacted on that. Maybe Anna should have done it another way. And yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. That's Offer. how it goes sometimes. Yeah. This is, this is really awkward, Helen. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah, I know. Okay. This is a, you know, <laughs> this is such a great space. Yeah, like, I want to live here. Yeah, I was here for a few weekends ago, and it was really nice to be here also without kids. It was, in, It's a nice building, and walk inside and outside. Especially without and kids. It's, I, it's just, it's especially without time. kids, I think. M maybe, but it's it's made for kids, though. Um, so they are also supposed to have some nice spaces, but um, I like the. It, I like to be here. It's it's a nice building to be in. So, um, and uh, even though this is, might not be, when you calculate on it, might not be the most sustainable part of the building. It's the most historical and interesting space. This one. Yeah. The interesting part here, and what we learned was, with uh, we really wanted to have as much uh, from the old school, like the historical part, the white part of the school, right? Yeah. So the roof geometry here is direct reuse. So it's the same shape. And we wanted to see if we could actually direct reuse that. And, and what we thought was that, of course, it's the most sustainable if we don't change the form of the wood geometry at all yeah. and just direct reuse it. And now we are only talking about the wood structure. Yeah. But the problem is, of course, that when you go from a building that's from 1937, then the engineering of these structures are totally different from the standards today. So when our engineers started recalculating these, then we needed all this steel bracing. And uh, of course, steel these ones. Yeah. yeah. So of course, if you took the trunk from here to here, it's super sustainable, yeah. like the wood. Yeah. But if you then start to calculate all the steel in, oh, then you start to have a totally different uh, CO2 calculation. So the learning from here is that the wood is perfectly fine. You should just disassemble it and then assemble it in, again in a different way. So, oh, it, so it becomes stronger. Yeah, because yeah. there's nothing wrong with the wood at all. It's, it's super high quality compared to a lot of the wood we get today. But it shouldn't have been kept the way it was. And also the disassembling with the crane that we lifted it down from the roof, from the roof in yeah. one piece, yeah. super difficult. So that was an experiment. We succeeded, but on CO2, it wasn't the greatest, but it, it looks beautiful. And, and I, you can say that we kept the shape of it. Uh, yeah, and, and the width of the old main building in yeah. school. So you kind of have an idea of how big the building that was placed here before is. And that's kind of fun. And also, like, check this out. This is, you know, the tiles. And he, he I'm, 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 I'm remembering right that this is the facade stones, right? Yeah, this is yeah. the bricks this that we're is, uh, using the same uh, horizontally, as, right? As we use for the yeah. building. This is so beautiful. They're very beautiful. And, and, and I love this color and the yeah. tone, and it's kind of fun to see how you can use the bricks in different ways. So this is Helen's favorite room. Yeah, this one and another one over the Why corner. Why is this your favorite room? Because you have the different um, rooms in the room. And easy and access to the toilet. Yeah. You do that in every of all the group rooms. But <laughs> <laughs> so you have kind of the ceiling that's like the roof, yeah. and you have 
uh, like this afternoon light and you have cozy corners and I like this room. And it's nice to sit yeah. over here and look, look at people coming. So you can sit here and see now your parents are coming and then you can run out and be ready. Helen, one thing I regret that we didn't succeed with and that's the troll tech. Yeah. Yeah. What, you we have you want so something? much troll tech. Yeah, we do have a lot of yeah. Trolltech. We don't. We don't. We're not super fans of Trolltech. Now we actually succeeded on like recycling, and they look exactly like this. It's almost like I think they come from a kindergarten. The ones that we recycle in tray, and they would have been so easy. I think that would be really nice. But what would be the most sustainable? Not doing it. Or direct reusing the sheets that are taken out of different buildings. But we have to do that in the next project. Yeah. Here's another good view, Anas. Look oh, at that. This is a good right. view. Oh, I love when it's a uh, tricolor. The three materials it goes well together. <laughs> it's Stop uh, talking fantastic. about <laughs> tricolor. It's really nice. It's check, come on, I'll check. It. It, we have it again. Okay. Hey, you as an Look architect. at the rhythm, the distance that they pull back. It's so nice. You don't know it before you feel it. So, um, yeah, I think it's very important to, to build our future buildings a little like this. All of them? But I don't think we can build all of them because we don't have enough materials reaching down and there's too much chemistry in all these old buildings, so, but a lot of it. <laughs> okay, we need to wrap it up, guys. I really love being here. I think it's a wonderful yeah. space. I yeah. really, really think, Anas, that you and your team and created... the other ones that was in here, there was engineers, there was... That's the municipality, there was Halen, there was a team, a, the it's mayor. A, it's a team. But, uh, you know, the somebody kids. has to take the credit and we'll give it to you and Halen, right? The other people are not here. Exactly. That's easy. And then we need to credit somebody else, and that is the uh, demolisher. Yeah. Because, you know, the thing about that the ones who won the tender of demolishing the building took it very seriously and became a material provider. Form follows availability. Thank you for watching Reconstructing the World. And I have to say this, I'm very sorry, but like, subscribe, whatever. Do what the fuck you want. See you.